Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Dark Nomad. And I don't know if you can tell um, by my voice. I'm a little bit irritated right now. Um, you see, um, when I uh, when I first decided I was going to winter over here, um, I um, I contacted a friend that I had met. Um, while traveling through court site back in, oh my gosh, I think it was around the, um, the August, September time frame. Um, and we decided that we were going to hook up and, and camp together and winter over. Um, he's a really, really nice guy. Um, I think I mentioned him in one of my other videos, a guy named Bob. Um, he's a class A, um, motor coach that he, um, purchased and restored. I mean, I think the thing is like, damn near 30 years old but yeah you know, he purchased it restored it and he's been traveling full-time since he got it running um, and, and and got the interior restored at any rate um, when I was heading back this way I, I gave him a call and said you know where you're staying at and um, the, the the best way you know, take that with a grain of salt to, to, to winter over down here without having to move every two weeks is to um, to do so at one of the LTVA's uh, long-term visitor areas. So he said he was staying at La Posa South, which is one of the LTVA's. And I'm like, all right, no problem. I'll go. I'll head down there. Um, it, it, it costs $180 to stay here for uh, six months, and included in that price, you get uh, you get access to the vault toilets, you get access to the dumpsters where you can dump your garbage. If you have a um, and an RV per se, you have access to their dump stations where you can dump your uh, your black and gray tanks. And they they have water, but everything I've heard from people says um, that that water's fine for uh, for uh, general use, but not not so great for drinking. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. I'm not here to say there is or isn't. I'm not an expert in that matter. I don't have the ability to test it, but. Um, uh, crepes, here comes the dust again. Um, at any rate, at any rate, um, that being said, um, I, 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 uh, I made a camp and, um, it wasn't too far from where, where my neighbor Bob is staying and, you know, we socialize pretty much every day and, you know, every, everything was, everything was fine until the uh the ranger or the guy well he, he he is an he is an assistant ranger he's not he hasn't been trained he isn't you know he hasn't gone through the land management course at fletzy yeah how do i know that yeah i know these things because i was a federal law enforcement officer prior to retiring and deciding to live this lifestyle um at any rate he um yeah, one of the things that he does is he tries to uh, he he try he has tried to make himself out to be more than what he is. He's not law enforcement, um, but but he he tries to claim to be. Um, at any rate, um, he he is he is an assistant here. He is, you know, for all intents and purposes, part of the uh, the campground host. Um, field of uh, occupation um, to, to try to cut to the chase you know, I, I, I came here and, and I've given no one any problems Harry stays on a leash when he's outside of the vehicle all the time the only time he is off a leash is when he's inside a vehicle at night when we're going to bed other than that he's on a leash he's on a leash when I walk him he's on a leash when he's out here during the day, no problems with that. But what do I see here? I see people walking their dogs constantly without a leash. I had one. I had a. I had a group of dogs run through my camp once, and with 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 their owner in pursuit, um, telling me that, oh, they got loose. I had a couple walking their dog through the wash behind me, without their dogs on leash, and Harry about lost his mind. And I tell him, I says, why is your, why aren't your dogs on leash? Oh well, you know, oh well, you know nothing. 
I see people walking by down this main road and every day without their dogs on leash. I see people letting their dogs run around their camp without being on a leash. I, I had somebody's German Shepherd approach me like he went to attack me for walking by their camp without being on a leash. I see the, the biggest problem is, this, well, this guy has come up to me. This is the second time he's approached me telling me you have to move. Well, why do I have to move? Well, the rules say that you have to be within 250 feet of a vault toilet unless you have a self-contained unit, i.e. an RV with running water, with a, with a, with a water holding tank, with, with a gray tank, with a black tank. If not, you have to be close to the bathroom. Okay, no problem. But I'm camping with a buddy who has all of that and has no problem at all with me using his facilities, be it shower, be it sink, be it bathroom. He hasn't got an issue with it, and he's told me such. As a matter of fact, the law enforcement ranger that was here about a week ago, when, when questioned, he told the law enforcement ranger, oh no, he can come in here anytime he wants to. I don't have a problem with it. And the law enforcement ranger said, all right, cool, no problem. And he left. The second time, this is the second time this guy has come out and he tells me, oh, well, that guy was wrong and he was, he was, he was, uh, he was corrected on that and, and you have to move. I'm like, why are you bothering me? And, and I'm like, specifically bothering me. If you want to go enforce rules, why don't you get some of these people around here who are walking their dogs without leashes on? Why don't you approach some of the other people that are camping outside of a self-contained unit without being within 250 feet of a vault toilet? I see schoolies going by. I see minivans driving by. I see Jeeps driving by. I see all of these vehicles driving by me going further out than I am. And they they absolutely they they absolutely are not driving a self-contained unit. And they're sitting they're heading out and they're setting their camps up and I, I don't see these vehicles coming back in and I don't see the when I go to go into town, I don't see these vehicles that I've seen drive by my camp heading further out in the LTVA, I don't see these same vehicles parked near the vault toilets. I, I, I just don't. Where is this imaginary 250 feet marker? I'll admit, I'm not within 250 feet of a vault toilet, but like I said, I have that covered. To, to, to <laughs> also, I walk my dog every day, sometimes two or three times a day. And if I have to go to the bathroom, Sometimes I'll, I'll take him for a walk because I have to go to the bathroom. Bob works every day. He is a uh, he is a um, he's self-employed, I believe. He um, you know he he does on he he does his work online. So, in the grand scheme of things, I really don't want to disturb him during the course of the day while he's working because I have to pee. I can take Harry for a walk. I need the exercise. He needs the exercise. So I'll take him for a walk and I'll walk down that way. I'll walk towards the vault toilet. I'll take care of business. And then I come back. Like I said, I've given no one here any problems at all. I, 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 I don't have garbage all over the place. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't have a generator that I'm running in the middle of the night like some of the people out here. I, I'm not playing music into all hours of the night like some of the people out here. There are all kinds of problems going on out here. And this guy has chosen to center me. And I, 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 I've i never been one to go there. But, you know, Bob's minority. He's not, he's, he's not what you would call African-American. But he's very dark of skin, as am I. We seem to be the only people that that, that, that there that there is a problem with this out here, because I I, like I said I go for a walk every day, and I walk around here and and I see people that are much further than 250 away 50 feet away in the same situation as I am as far as camping is concerned, and nothing apparently is being said to them because they're still there and that's been from day one since I've been out here. 
So what is it? You know, is this guy... It, 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 like I said, I, I've never been one to go there, but in, in this instance, I'm probably going to go there. Why is this white guy coming up to these minorities making demands of them when, when there has been no issue and he's not making the same insistence of, of moving to everyone else? I, I, I don't get it. Um, I, I told him, I says, uh, I need... And, you know, the, the law enforcement ranger was here the other day, and he said he didn't have a problem with it once Bob explained the situation to him. And all of a sudden, you come back a week later, and you have a problem with it, and you're bothering me. Why are you bothering me? Why are you picking me out? Why are you centering on me? What did I do? I haven't done anything. If, if anything, I've been a model camper out here. Because I worked in that field, and... I know the rules, and I know I'm not going to sit out here and break the rules. But for some reason, this guy seems to have a hard on for me. And, and when I confronted him about it, he didn't want to say anything. He hops in his little buggy and, and goes running away. So and now I told him, I'm like, look, the law enforcement ranger who told me that it was okay, I want to speak to him. I want him to come out here, and I want him to tell me, you got to move. Then I got no problem. I'll move. But until then, I, I, I don't. I'm not going to take the word of this underling who I absolutely believe has an issue with me and with Bob, because we tan a little bit better than him. So I, I didn't want to ever have to put a video up like this. I didn't. I, I've never ever had to to go there. But th that's the only thing that I can see going on here, because as I said, we're, we're, we, we seem to be the only ones he, he's bugging about this. He doesn't seem to be bugging anybody else out here about this issue. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, it, it's nigh impossible to get in touch with anyone if you contact the field office because th they have a very serious lack of manpower and they'll get to you when they get to you. I don't know how many complaints they receive a day, but it's got to be numerous. So, you know, maybe they'll come sooner if they, if he contacts them. I don't know. Um, at any rate, um, I, I just wanted to, uh, to get this off my chest and let the world know that, you know, there are a whole bunch of unfair things going on out here. Like I said, I'm not causing any kind of problems. Um, I, I, I realized what the situation was and I came up with a solution it seemed to be okay and now all of a sudden again it's not okay I mean I packed up my entire camp you know to move literally maybe a hundred feet so I can be closer because that's what he told me you have to be well if that's the case we'll we we we'll, let, we'll we make allowances if you are within 25 feet of of, of the RV that you say that you, you know, you're using the facilities. So I packed up my entire camp so I could move 100 feet so I could be closer to to Bob's Class A. And apparently that's not good enough. The only way, he, the, the only, <laughs> the only way that, that, that that's not an issue is if, um, if, if a, a minor child is involved. I uh, Really? Are, are you kidding me? So now it's age discrimination as well. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm really pissed off about it. I'm not leaving here because I paid for it. You know, I paid $180 so I could stay here until April. So I'm not packing my stuff up and leaving. But I tell you what I will do. You know, I, I, if, he wants to, if he wants to do it to me, then he's going to have to do it to everybody around here. If that means me being an, and being an a hole and being, you know, what a snitch, then you're gonna if you're gonna force the rule on me, you're gonna force the rule on everybody out here equally. I'm gonna make you work for your living, or, or you know, work for your money. You know, you're 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 gonna have to go out here and you're gonna have to do more than get into your little buggy and, and drive around here, centering out people of color, and 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 making them obey the rules when you're not making everybody obey the rules. That's how that's going to be. So until next time, folks, um, I'm signing off. I'm going to upload this 
immediately. I'm not even going to edit it because, you know, it's just me talking. All right. I'll see you folks later. This is Dark Nomad out.